Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the final of the Philadelphia System Open. Here at the final, we have two very well-known players in the X-Wing scene. We have Duncan Howard versus Paul Heaver. Now, if you've never participated in our Choose Your Champion poll, please go ahead and do so. Type 1 if you think Duncan's going to take it, two in the chat if you think Paul Heaver is going to take it. We got over 300 people watching right now. I expect at least 100 votes. Let's go, guys. I would really like to get a good feel of what the audience thinks of this matchup. Now, I'm going to go ahead and break down these lists. Duncan Howard playing an Imperial Ace archetype, but a different, a different, <laughs> a different form than, we, than we've seen. We got Sunterfell with crack shot, shield upgrade, and targeting computer. Targeting computer allowing Suntir to have that target lock as an option for an action. The Grand Inquisitor has sense and fire control system. Sends an absolutely amazing upgrade, being able to see where, uh, where ships are, are supposed to be going. Now, I will say, of course, in this matchup, it doesn't matter too much. We're not going to see it really work. Uh, if anything, we might see Duncan do it for the lols. Um, and then Duchess, as well, is an absolutely fantastic piece in this matchup. You got Predator, Fifth Brother, and Afterburners. Uh, why do I think it's such a great piece? Well, the specialty of this Vulture Swarm that we're going to talk through with Paul is the fact that it... It, it does a really good job of blocking a lot of lanes, doesn't give you a lot of options. Duchess, with that advanced ailerons, or excuse me, uh, adaptive ailerons, is able to adjust the trajectory of her chosen maneuver or choose not to use ailerons at all. It's going to be a really big deal uh, in this matchup, and I think that it will be um, the use of Duchess is going to really, I think, swing where, where the advantage goes early in this game. And then on the right, we have Paul Heaver flying seven Vulture, uh, Vulture drones with Chertek. Now, we have them labeled blue, like a tan brown, and of course, Chir Chertek is white there. Uh, the blue ones are like the blue and gray versions that you guys see on the board, and the brown ones are the brown. The ones that are brown are the ones that are carrying Discord missiles. Those are the Discord missiles are the ones that allow you to launch at the beginning of engagement and uh, attach some buzz droids to some enemy ships, possibly. And then the ones that are in blue all have grappling struts, so they're the ones that are going to be able to lock on to those, uh, those three rocks that you see there. Now, talking about obstacle choices for both these players, Paul's the one that brought the three rocks. Duncan is the one that brought the gas clouds. I heard him mentioning to someone uh, earlier that this type of archetype is one that does give him trouble. Um, and that's why he doesn't want to give them any extra help. We're going to go ahead and throw some gas clouds on there. And that's why you saw he Duncan was the first one to corner that rock and basically wants to create a big open area here, uh, which Paul quickly identified and was able to place his ships there. We have Duncan Howard versus Paul Heaver. And my co-commentator for this round is? McDonald's. Mc <laughs> False. False. I don't want to give yeah. them free advertising. They, they got to pay me the millions to get on here, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's Marcel. <laughs> All right. Um. So uh, before we go too far, I want to mm -hmm. remind you guys to go ahead and vote in the that poll and also that this round is brought to you by curled paul creatives use coupon code unplugged 2019 for 15 percent off so what do you think of this matchup well it's um very similar to the top four matchup that we saw against jesse i i think the big difference being that um Duchess has is is, is more def this list just overall is more defensive mm -hmm. uh using those six points on afterburners instead of the the proximity mines and going with Inquisitor instead of um, Vader, which 
which is again it's it's more for the defense than than for the offense which against this particular list I think it, it makes it a little bit more difficult for Paul mm -hmm. uh, because it, again um, you, you you're trying to play for you know if, if you're Duncan you're 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 getting your points where you can and you're running away and you're trying to yeah. stay alive. You know, so the final in a, in a big tournament like this at the premier level has a two-hour time limit. I think, here's the thing about Duncan. He is probably one of the most patient players I've seen. He's willing to use every second of those two hours if it's going to mean him winning the game. Mm -hmm. Now you've played some pretty. You played a pretty tense game at Worlds versus Duncan. Different mm -hmm. archetype. You did get to see his soon tier play mm -hmm. uh, in there. So I'm curious to see your insight as uh, as this game, you know, goes underway. Definitely. And um, you know, I, I think the the thing that you can say just off the top, mm -hmm. as far as Duncan's ace play in general, is that it, it is patient and it's ultra defensive. Um, if usually, if he has like a shuttle or something else, he'll he'll use that aggressively. But the, uh, he he will ninety percent of the time not opt for violence. Right. He'll um, he'll evade and take less modifications if you can avoid getting shot. Yeah, even if he's getting shot, range should get through a cloud. He'll um, that's 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 too much too much odds. So. Something I do have to shout out Duncan mm -hmm. for. I'm a big fan of Lego. And uh, on all three of his ships, he does have Lego pilots. He's got the Grand Inquisitor. Some people are like, is that a double-bladed lightsaber? Well, the Grand Inquisitors, the Inquisitors have double-bladed lightsabers. So that's what that is. And has uh, two TIE pilots on, uh, on Duchess and, uh, and Soontir. I don't think FFG purposely made the... the the posts on a ship's perfectly too able to fit a Lego hand, but they do. But it works. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if the Lego fire fits perfectly into the back thruster of Soontier. Might be glued in there. But uh, that that is a Duncan Howard staple for sure. Yeah, so right here, uh, who is... Um, if you're Paul Heaver... Who are you looking at as your main priority? Uh, you can Sumter uh, probably has the most likelihood of getting blocked and suffering out of that block. Um, but he'll probably again play the most offensively with him. Duchess has is is, is, is the most it's is the hardest one to actually pin down. Um, to agility, but hard to pin down and, and the. Inquisitor just, he, he's a tank. He's a four, four health tank. Yeah. So Well, kind of. Kind of a tank. Um, how long can an Inquisitor with, like, you know, there's the dice calculator? Mm -hmm. Like, how many shots? You know, he's got eight ships. How many shots does it make it so that all of a sudden Inquisitor starts being scared? Because if he's taking one or two Vulture shots, I don't think he's too scared. Yeah. But if he's taken now, this is actually a different move. Yeah, he usually than, turns in right here. Yeah, usually that that has been a, a hard turn, but uh, this might be a little bit of, of Paul pulling out some different tech because Paul, Duncan might just know, like, oh, he's been doing the hard turn here. Let's just not do that. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, Paul just sees that he wants to get pincered there. Mm -hmm. um, and he's anticipating the hard one left from the Inquisitor. This is where the the rule of eleven works out well, knowing yeah. like, oh yeah, no, is it rule of eleven? Th it 13? depends how you're referring to it. How, the distance of the board. Yeah. How, how many five yeah, boards? Yeah, rule eleven. Yeah. There you go. Well, rule eleven is usually used to determine how many rounds to engagement. To engagement, yeah. But also under knowing that you know two five forwards and, and a two turn yeah. out will not fly off the board. So Duchess maybe seeing an opportunity to try to nick here in the back corner in the next coming turns, taking the evade. Could have been. Um, yeah, he did call the the hard one. Yep. 
I could have potentially been a an opportunity to use one of those afterburners and get that range two shot. I mean, and, and most here, likely he likes he likes to use them defensively. It's not yeah. it's not an offensive and, and, tool. And here's a good example of what, when I say that he plays defensive, uh, ultra defensive. <coughs> so right here, there is zero opportunity for him to get shot. Right. Yet the the evade is right there. So um, again, while someone who's more aggressive might have came in and got the focus target lock shot. I mean, not focus target lock. The focus range two shot. Mm -hmm. He's uh, he's playing it safe. He, he wants to make sure that he can uh, bug out if you know next round when they do the the hard ones, which they'll inevitably do. You know, one thing I do have to comment on. Um, I think that out of every mat we have ever put on the stream, this one has gotten the most comments about in it. In a good way or in a bad way? Both. Oh. It's either, oh, my God, I love that, or, oh, my God, I hate that. Well, when... So I've been, I've been looking at it now for however many rounds. I'm, I'm used to it. And I do know one of the issues, I did, I did talk to, to D about it, is that the coloring of the rocks is so similar here. It can be hard to see. And then also this tower... Is really distracting. Well, th this is what I was going to say. That tower, All right, we do have a we do have a shot yeah, here. Two hits, and takes one. And he's going to go ahead and take one right away shot off the front guy. It's this guy. That's right number here. two. That's from the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, so when, when when I first came to the first game that you were playing, I mean that you were that you were streaming, it was the two uh, Kylo and two shuttles, two Upsilons. Yep. I when I sat down, I kept on thinking that was an Upsilon. It took me <laughs> it took me it took me a while to figure out that that's because uh, you know that looked like the wing, right? And th that's the ship, and that's my drawings again, just showing off. But um, yeah, it is um, interesting map. It's very different than anything I've streamed on, for, for sure. But I had, I had to support my boys. They're like, hey, Dion, you want to try it out? Let's, let's try it out. Okay. Is the mat less? I think so. So are we thinking? Oh, right? was it range? It was a range three shot? No, but he is Inquisitor. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Inquisitor denies the range ability. So I think it's the he's going to do the one turn barrel calculate chain here. So the same maneuvers he just did it one turn later, just uh, kind of to guarantee that this goes this way and keep everything in that range where you said you want. Yep. Doing some side to side method here for the uh, the hard ones. So, so you, when you guys see that, that's what's going on. Gold Squadron Podcast. That's not how Inquisitor works in 2.0. Like what? Hold on. Let me just let me just read it. Yeah, he spends a force to. But it's ring it's one. when you d while you perform an attack against a defender at attack range two to three to apply the range one bonus. Actually, that's correct. Um. Uh, he's right there. He's. So he's going to go ask about the uh, range bonus right now. He's talking to the one of the judges, Chris Allen. Um, Uh, 
So clears yeah, the clear, damage. Clears the damage. That is something that I was so not aware of. Yeah. Yeah, put we'll the put health it back, back on. Yeah. You learn something new every day. That's what I get for looking at range rulers. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ice Arnar, thank you so much for gifting a sub for the first time on the channel. Thank you so much. Yeah, so the damage goes away because there would have been a calculate mm -hmm. around. There was like eight of them. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, that's where just Libus is learning. It, it, simple mistake. And yeah, so the the old Inquisitor text says, you, you says treated as if. treated as if it was a range one attack. Interesting. Or as the attack was at range one. I'm sure somebody could dig up the first first edition text. I don't I don't want to go in those forbidden lands. I'm out. <laughs> We're done. Yeah, so that's that's, mm -hmm. and both the players that they they know that you know if there's an issue, I'm going to bring it up to the the judge and this judge call to fix as need be, and both the players want to play the the game clean as well. So simple mistakes like that they happen all the time. It's the final. We want to make sure everything's on the up and up. We good. So actually, the, um, I have a question about what's the interaction between in how does engine upgrade work on um, Daredevil? Does engine that, upgrade on does, Daredevil? Does engine upgrade turn Daredevil into a white boost? Um, I'd have to read the card. Are you just been sitting here thinking about it? I saw some conversation in the chat. Yeah, there was some conversation in the chat about it, and uh, um. It just want to see what what the text on engine upgrade is. So it it requires the red boost action on your bar. So if you don't have red boost on your bar, you can't even equip the car. Oh, it requires the red boost. Yeah. And it turns it white. Right. It turns it from red to white. So you, basically that engine was very upgrade, smart. Engine upgrade allows you to put Daredevil on because now you can perform a white no, boost no, uh, yes, and yes. treat it as a red. Yes. So engine upgrade al allows you to put on. Hey, got it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So he's going to try to. So he's giving it to him. Okay, so this is interesting. All righty. Okay, because now he lowers, lowers his agility. It's going to be four on one by doing that. Yep. So that, that's an interesting call. Um, well, Chertek is a more valuable piece. He had to choose somebody. Yeah, I was wondering if maybe you can do that and push him forward and just get no shots. Okay. Um, what is he doing there? All right, Discord oh, missiles launched. That's why he was doing it. And he missed it. Oh. Uh, Woo! Okay. Close one. So he was trying to give up. Mm-hmm. Give, give, give up a drone to keep it so that Duchess had to keep taking crits? Absolutely. Yeah. 
just barely. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see how that turns out for Paul. Yep, four dice. Predator, because it's in the bullseye. Fifth brother to a crit. Hit, hit, go. crit. He's rolling one. Needs an evade. No squiggle and gone. Yeah, that was a, that was a gamble. Damage engine was the crit on the way out for anybody who likes to know. Crit, crit. Seems like a good start. Going back into Duchess. Natty's. Natty. <laughs> Paul says, you're fine, you're Duncan. No other shots. That was Chertek taking that first one. You know, you know what shirt I think Duncan needs? Mm. You know which shirt he needs. Oh, I know which. Shirt <laughs> he needs our Gold Squadron podcast. I have spoken shirt with three Natty Vades on it. Yeah, so this. Um, every time he loses a, a droid, it's. He, he needs to put some type of pressure. To, oh, yeah. To, to lose a droid, he needs to gain some type of advantage. I'm not sure this particular time he he got any advantage out of putting that droid out there. <laughs> and you know, so somebody here, you got Icemar saying, uh, <clears throat> sorry, not, <laughs> not Icemar, Star Slinger 72, Tyler Tippett. One of our Team USA team members said, all right, time to run for 95 minutes now. He got points. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's, that is a little bit of, a, of an overstatement, but it allows Duncan to be more defensive. you got to be smart. Mm -hmm. one, one thing I know um, that a lot of newer players struggle with is when you are trying to run away, we'll use the word run away, mm -hmm. but uh, you're trying not to engage, that if you just continue trying to like go in a circle, mm -hmm. right, your opponent can always just cut the circle and, yep. and engage you, right? So it's not just about being on the outside of the board. You have to know, you have to find that spot where they would have turned in and turn the other way. Turn in and, and you restart the them. chase yeah. Yeah, and pass them, exactly. And make sure they're chasing the target that Exactly. So, right here, do you go? Um, do you go one hard with those drones and and follow him that way, or do you do you go a little bit faster? Go three three hard in to the. This way. Uh, well, not with this guy, because this guy's going to bump, but all the other ones. I like the one heart here. One Inquisitor, heart. Inquisitor can't get a shot on you this turn because of the direction he's in. Oh, and he's goes. actually flip, splitting the difference, too. <clears throat> too hard. Yeah, and he's keeping on there, keeping Centerfell honest. Yep. One hard, no rock. Calculate. Two turn in the back. Probably gonna see a calculate barrel roll. Yeah. Over right to the to down. The left. Yep. Well, oh, no, go to the right. He's gonna go to yeah. the right. Because that's gonna get in the way of the other ones. Just as I was about to mention it, too. Mm. 
that it's been a while. That was I was going to mention that. Oh, we're on a mobile connection. Could cut out. Boom. <laughs> Let me know out there once you can see the table again. Okay. All right, excellent. I was going to mention, literally as the, as the internet went out, the fact that um, the, the router that we're connected to has been uh, testy, mm -hmm. put it that way. So if it disconnects, don't worry, we'll be, it's literally just got to reconnect it. It's just di like kicking us off the network. We just reconnect and it's fine for a while. So it's gonna be one bank, three bank to uh, yep, and evade. Getting get getting out of there. Getting some distance from the uh, from the buzz droids. Still now because because he's facing the same directions as those vulture droids, he will not be able to barrel roll for more. He can barrel roll for a little bit more distance. But not not a significant amount. When you're at that 45, you can get like a, a, a pretty good chunk of distance. Uh, yeah, he still, he also has uh, afterburners, but I, I'm not. I don't know if this is where where you use it. You might just so he can be less predictable on the next one. Yep. There's the afterburner call. Getting that little bit of extra distance. Yeah, and that, Again, that, using that it def def defense, defensively, not offensively. <laughs> yeah. And at this point, Duchess can be out of the match for... As long as she wants to. Probably up 30 or more minutes, realistically. Oh, Wookie Shepherd, thank you so much for the compliment. I wish we can get you better. I wish you had a better internet connection, but we try. So soon to your hard one going towards a swarm. I, I sent a soon to your pass coming here, try, trying to, you know, uh, something like this. You get a shot somewhere here, and you just kind of keep wiggling on the outside. There, you see? Mm -hmm. You see? I want to remind you guys that we are watching the Philadelphia System Open, sponsored by Curled Paw Creatives. Use coupon code UNPLUGGED2019 for 15% off a $15 or greater purchase. Coupon expires on Monday. You can use it Monday, just not on Tuesday. Don't email me on Tuesday. Don't do it. Okay. So the challenge that... that Paul has now is he has to make a choice at this point. Yep. And he's either going to have to split fire, split fire or commit to one side or the other, which obviously puts, puts the onus on, um, I mean, gives the advantage, the positional advantage to, to Duncan. Right. And... I don't anticipate Sunter being anywhere within range two or three, probably until another buzz droid drops. Yeah, I could see that because you don't you don't want to risk that. 
you do have a shield. You can, you know, but you want to use that on an attack, mm -hmm. not not on Buzz Joyce. Because Buzz Joyce, unless you can, uh, you know, get it set up favorably, most of the time, don't go away. Duncan double checking the point costs. Always important in the uh, in matchups to ask how those points lay out. With these type of vulture uh, vulture lists, it's it's hard to feel out where the points are if you're actually not doing the mental math. Because you can like you know there there are only 20 ish points each, mm -hmm. 20 or 23. And if you're not really keeping track, you can you can either be like oh I'm ahead I'm ahead right, and you realize oh wait no I'm not. <laughs> <coughs> And then vice versa for the for the the drone player. <coughs> sometimes you th you think like, oh, I got this right, but you've lost a bunch of half points, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you're behind. <coughs> no, that's definitely good to do. So what, they just checked for range. What were they checking for? Who checked? From uh, where to where? From Sunter to this guy. Target lock check, maybe? Well, no, they had nobody's moved yet. Uh, no idea. Yeah, that was. Well, th there's there's judge right there. Yeah, yeah. I, Should I, be on the up and up. They, we they were just checking it. something. They mentioned it, but there's no sense. Or maybe they checked for for range on shots. Oh, to see in the engagement if they would have had a shot. From yeah, because to, they didn't to the buzz check, droid. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> All right, and Paul choosing to continue forward with those buzz droids. So yeah, and not with the buzz droids with the with the vulture drones going forward. Barrel roll, calculate, pressing Duchess is the plan, and she is the. If you catch her, she is the easiest one to kill. But yeah. Um, not easy. Felt Septo, thank you so much for gifting that. Uh, why is that not working? Gifting the donation. And he's just continuing to press there, seeing if he can catch so you're catch thinking, Duchess against this this uh, that wall there. Yeah, the problem is if he set in a four forward, that that can take him there with a barrel. Well, not a barrel. He'll be in. It'll it'll end up somewhere around here. Um, yep, and then. All right. Yeah, so let's see what uh, which way Duncan decided to go. Sorry, guys. I'll be right back. I, uh, I dropped some stuff. There we go. Paint me a picture, picture with your words, Marcel. All right. So at this point, he's choosing his um, ailerons here. And... It's taking a fair amount of time, so I'm going to say it's safe to assume he didn't do a four forward here. He probably did some type of uh, turn in and or a three, soft three. So, all right. So Inquisitor taking the one hard there, right? What did Duchess do? Oh, Inquisitor's moving first. Inquisitor's Duchess. moving first. They're both initiative five. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm thinking he's got a lot of options if he did a three soft. 
because he can aileron three boost. Yep. But it's hard to tell how That's far what he's that will actually take him. Oh. He's eyeballing it good. But if if it was a three soft that he made, uh, that probably is what gets him the most. Oh. All right. So it looks like he's going to go for that with the um, evade. Two straight. We're going aggressive here. Yeah, it's going that same route that he had anticipated. So at this point. Um, Two straight with Suntir. Maybe the baiting. I mean, if he's getting aggressive with Duchess, he's going to try to barrel try to right, get, barrel right get a shot. Yeah. Yeah, the, the problem with the barrel right and boost is that puts him in that range for that bus droid from that guy. That's the problem. Yeah, I could see that. So that, um, <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure with the other buzz droid right in the middle of that formation, that's. Uh, All right, he 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 is going to be able to clip this guy at range three, I think. Okay, he got the target lock in, or is the target lock from? No, the target lock's from. That's the from the Inquisitor. So, so it looks like they already finished and they're going to start the shooting. Now, my question is, yep. you you've been here and you've seen enough of this. Would this have? Not reached uh, for the three hits. Aileron. Oh wow, that's uh, uh, three raids. Yep. All right. So Paul making sure to use that network calculations to his advantage, and taking no damage. All right. There's a range three shot Seven, from the Inquisitor. Yep. Another crit. He flipped that. Fire control system. Hit, hit, crit. Using that Inquisitor ability. He does get three dice on defense. Right. Only a single crit going through. Hold breach on number two. Duchess looking at seeing what options she has. Now, he did not pass off any tractor in this one. He just had nobody in arc. Yep. All right, three on two from Duchess. Going to choose Predator. Oh, my God. And fifth brother, crit, crit, crit. He's just trying to blast something off the table here. Nettie evades, baby. Weapons failure. Okay. okay, that matters. This one. Weapons failure. All right, here we go. One crit, one hit, one safe. Hit, one evade. So we've got a weapons failure, and the other crit was a hull breach. Yep. Range two from the next one. Calculate for one. Use the one on the outside. One. Got the evade. Weapons fail. One dice. See if he can knock off that evade token. Yeah, that's right. Hey. Hey, and he does. Spends the evade token.
All right, 2v3. Whiffs on that one. Range three, last one with a shot. And just one. Duchess gets out clean. clean. Oh, Squeaky clean. All right, last shot here. This is going to be going into soon tier at range three, two on four. There is a hold reach on that vulture. Doesn't affect offense. Has a calculate from network calculations. And has to spend go. the focus Comes for two. Out of this round with zero damage. And they're going to go ahead and clean up. I'm going to pull up something here. Drop, I'm going to drop a link in the chat for fun. You can check it out. You need to paint. You need to add Duncan's smiling face as the <laughs> backdrop to that. <laughs> Aces versus swarms. This is like super themey, right? You know, you got the, the lower initiative grunts trying to make it work. Now at this point, where do you, uh, Duncan, this turn, pressed to try to get Duchess, get some, uh, Get some damage on the on the on the Duchess. Mm -hmm. Where are we going now? Because Duchess right now has has a lot of options. Does Paul go for blocks? Is it worth splitting up the swarm to try to cover all the possible areas? What do you think? At this point, I think you have to go. Um, you have to turn around. You have to go this way with all of them. Okay. And that way, like go this way, barrel roll, and point all your arcs this way. Okay. And cover for Duchess with him. Uh, I like I, that. I okay. think that's really just maybe even just like a two forward and cover his arc that way just to guarantee that Duchess isn't chasing the backside. Yeah. Uh, make Duchess go fa go fast. Mm. Because um, I mean he, he sold out for Duchess in this turn. He did and nothing got nothing out and, of it. Um, you know sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah. Just the way. That's the way it goes sometimes. Well, hello to the 446 of you guys watching right now. While we can see you, I want to remind you guys that we are on a mobile connection. Uh, internet kind of, it just kind of bounces us out once in a while. So if you see it disconnect, please do not despair. We'll be back in, like, it takes maybe a minute or so to get back up and running. All right, Paul, moving here. And that's um, precisely what he's doing. Now, the, the question is, does Chertek follow suit? Yeah, or, or, or does he go separate? Yeah, because another thing you can do is just go two and point arc that way. Um, that's another way to protect that blind side. Yeah, and I, I don't. Yeah, so at this point he's going for Inquisitor because it's it's pretty right. Easy to it's pretty safe to assume that he's not going that that he's that he's dunking heading out. that way that he's not ha, going to dunking out. You're a funny uh, guy. Right now, <laughs> you're, you're right. Right now, Paul's just looking at his options. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna keep rolling with that one die. Dang it! There it is. 
Sorry. That's fine. Sorry, future people watching on YouTube. Our bad. So are you thinking five forward with um, with the Inquisitor? With the Inquisitor. I mean, it seems like a good a move. Barrel five forward right boost. Would, oh no, that that barrel roll. Five forward boost right. That seems solid. And it looks like that. Nope, does not bump. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that or a three soft. So, some. Uh, the three three bank clips that to the left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Either three bank to the left or five straight. Just he's not gonna be there. Paul Paul saying it's super tiring, moving all those. Like I said, you need to protect that. Barrel roll from Chertek. Yep. Just pointing them all down to the bottom of the board there. And that's where that um, protecting the. All right, let's see. So we know Sunter is going to run away. All right. Duchess doing those ailerons revealed a three bank. Yeah, but it's a three bank to the right. Going ailerons to the right. And Dutch is successfully getting behind the swarm and in an offensive position. Do you think Paul here is taking the risk to, like, maybe he's thinking a couple turns ahead, right? Yeah. Dutch is turning in this way, and every single one of these guys. They're stressed. 1K. Oh, they're stressed right now. You're right, because the barrel rolls. Never mind. Yeah, so... Um, False. Lies of the Jedi. Yeah, mostly what he was doing. He was just pre making sure that he goes back here. Yep. But, again, with um, the range on one... Ooh. Without the ability to double reposition, he can only get out of so many arcs. But that front one has hull breach, and he's only down to two. Uh, Isofane in the chat asking if we hit our sub goal this weekend. We hit the first one. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like our sub counter is not working right now. I tried to bring it back up, and it would uh, it would not. All right, barrel rolling here, trying to see where's the best spot to put him. Looks like he's going to be taking a range one shot from that vulture. Maybe it's a little bit not as wide as he thought. Yeah, but with the force he'll be able to know whether. Now at that point what do you do? You, you just spend the force and take one less die, right? Um, you're taking two shots? Yeah. Uh, depends on depends on what happens during your attack, I think. <clears throat> Waiting for the 
Sunter fell action. Evade boost is the call by Duncan. Just heading towards the bottom of the board. Duncan so far doing a good job of weaving those aces in and out, trying to avoid danger. He is passing the tractor over there. To number seven, using ensnare. I think mostly as protection. He's thinking about barrel rolling him to the to the right, our visual right, to avoid getting shot by the Inquisitor. Oh, because that's the one that would be rolling one less. Yep, and there it is. So he should be out of range now. Range one from the Inquisitor. Three dice. Hit two focuses. And he's got he two has fours. predator. He's gonna go. He's gonna go ahead and spend it. Both force. Yep, and that's the one with hull breach. And one crit does get through. Stun pilot. And that one does not have struts, so uh, the stun pilot crit for sure works. We don't even have to answer the question whether it does or not. Oh, ones that, ha that do have it. <laughs> oh. One hit from weapons failure. Oh, one. Got him. <laughs> Range three. Soon tier does have a invade token, but whiffs on the attack, so that vulture fails. Range one back. Okay, so here's a question of he's going to Inquisitor, he already used both force and there's no oh, ability he used here. It on offense, okay. Yeah. And he's got no tokens. That's gonna be three hits That's going stick, into yeah. quiz. Uh, takes two, two half, right, points half points on the Inquisitor. That's big. And range two from the other one. Just one. Looking for an evade here. There's a squiggle. Regen's one force. So I think um, there's an opportunity if, if Duncan gets a little uh, aggressive here with Duchess. Okay with that one turning the arc back up again. Okay. Uh, Dutch is in a, in, in a bit of um, potential danger. Typically you would think because everybody is, is stressed out, right. all, the, all the arcs are going to be this way. Mm -hmm. um, but, the, but there is that opportunity, all the arcs being, being down the board, yet using Chertek as... As again, protecting the the blind side. Protecting the blind sure. side, but you are you are basically giving Chertek to Duchess and the Inquisitor. Because I would I would suspect because they're they are are all stressed and they can't turn around that Duncan's going to take advantage of that and and kind of scoop behind here because the Inquisitor is not currently stressed, so he has an open dial. Yeah, but a one hard barrel roll leaves them there. And that actually covers that whole section. So, it, yeah, it might get them from... In other words, you'd be able to pass off that, that tractor. Right. Again, not, not saying that, that, that... That's catching... 
you know, Duncan trying to come in if he mm -hmm. did like a hard one. Right. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, because I don't know if a hard one. Sense was used. It is a oh. one turn. Okay. Covering the bank out from the Inquisitor to the right. And a hard turn in the other direction, staying stressed. Because they have no strut, Sam. Yes, the ones that are brown don't have any struts on Paul's side. Hard two from blue. No rock there. He will calculate. That's the one with weapons failure. See, he might just clear that. Oh, you're right. Just double checking his dial, seeing if he can afford to do it. He's yep. keeping the weapons failure. Hey, he's he's uh, using it as two. a as a battery. Going in on the quiz, seeing if he can catch something. I don't think there's anything Paul can do about the five straight if he just zooms over, right? The, the Inquisitor well, has five, right? Uh, this guy can do something about the five straight. I guess you're right, you're right, you're right. And does not fit. And sure take one hard. All right, so here's the um, question if yeah, he barrels over to the right. Too. Currently, the arc is pointed towards the bottom of the board. Sure takes left. Yeah, there's, there's a couple choices. He can. He can cover the front. Bear. It okay? Yeah. So I was just closing the pull. Go for it. Yeah. No. So I was saying, right now here's debating whether um, again he wants to protect against Inquisitor or protect against Duchess. Where would you go with this one? Uh, for which one? For Sorry, sure tech. I was typing. I think you go to the top. Go to go to the right. Go this way. Mm -hmm. Just so that you have options. Uh, and the, arc. the bullseye, most likely, if if the Inquisitor went fast, most likely the Inquisitor won't have a shot on you and mm -hmm. could maybe arc dodge you. Uh, but then you could have a shot in the Duchess. Yeah, that's, I think that's probably the way to go. Because Duchess come taking a hard one in makes it really Yeah, it looks like he's not going to uh track to himself this time. Oh. Oh no. So Chertek chose not to tractor, mm -hmm. and he called. Uh, Duncan saying he called my move. Yeah, he's going. Other, he's the going other, three. The other thing. Let me let me tell them what they're doing first. Yeah. Three hard to into yeah. the into the swarm. There you go. <laughs> so it's a big deal here who he bumps against. If he bumps, obviously uh, Paul wants him to bump here. On that corner, yeah.
All right. Supermarket templing. Hopefully, uh, hopefully nobody lifts the template out before they finish. <laughs> Actually, the most common mistake I have with this type of, when you're moving multiple ships yeah. is grabbing the wrong ship to replace it, like grabbing this ship and then putting this one back here right. instead. Uh, I forgot who was it who told me that they, what they actually do is they take they the ship and they it. always tip it over. Yeah, that's tip. why you see me do that now. Yeah, tip it to the side, yeah. make sure you grab the right one. Is that right? That positioning. Well, there's available? another ship here. There. Right. Oh, there it is. There it is. They they moved three of them. All right. Chris using. So it, it looks like it fits and it bumps again. It'll bump against uh, the brown one. So that's, that's, um, well, may maybe. Yeah, they just measured with the clear base. It gets through. Well, you need, you, they didn't account for the, that top right corner of the other one. But yeah, you're right. It's going to hit the, hit the closer one. Yeah, so that's going to be three range one shots on Inquisitor. Four range one shots <laughs> with uh, Chertek. And now where and Duncan uh, just stated and it's good for you guys to remember as well uh, the Inquisitor is has a target lock on a droid but it is the one that he is touching so uh, only the force is a modifier we're probably going to see him use force. right he's got one maybe we'll see it used uh, defensively to reduce the number of attack dice coming in? Maybe. I think uh, you want to see what you get range one. If you can get three hits on one of them and just completely. That's avoid. right, he does get to attack first. And it was that hard one um, that the, uh, again, protecting that thing. Yep. That would have made him bug out and barrel roll and not do all of that. But he will, um, he's got that evade there, so. All right, soon tier doing soon tier things, just not involved. <laughs> Only involved when he needs to be. I think that's really what it what it comes down to. Some of the smartest soon tier pay is just needs to be super patient. Dushes, where is it going? I think they might go after that droid and try to pop that droid completely. The blue one? Yep. That's one less shot into the Inquisitor if they can kill it. Mm. All right, here we go. That's the blue one, right? Whiffs on uh, right. the Predator. Hit crit. He needs these. Natty. He got it. All right, so he's got three more coming from the Inquisitor. Yep. All right, now that he didn't get any damage there, looking at what his other options might be. Seeing if maybe he can get something off the board by going to another one that's farther down range, but mm -hmm. not so much. Here we go. Going to go take that range one shot, natural range one shot. I think it's the same one. Seeing what he rolls. Two, Two hits. Doesn't even have to make the choice on the... One of eight. Just takes one. On the Still force, have. takes one. Which one is that one? That, that one. Six. Right, this one. The one you're touching. Right there. Sorry, that's range two from yep. Chertek. Crit. 
safe. Hit, crit, crit. So That's needs, dangerous. He needs three. Pa nope. Takes a nice. crit. Blinded pilot. Good thing he's a force user. Yeah. Next one, range one. Has one force available still. Spend somebody's calculate. That's the weapons fail guy. Uses his uh, calculate. And that's a. Uh, and yep. Inquisitor removed from the table. <laughs> Duncan asked, do you want to keep shooting at him? <laughs> I mean, you could. He has could, more yeah, shots. Still, you could if you want to. Mill you that to go deck a little bit. Deck, yeah. <laughs> so right now, Paul ahead. Score is 35 59. Yeah, and right now he's in a spot where he can. Put all guns on Duchess without too much worry coming from from Sunter. Now looking at the score, Duncan is behind by 24 at the moment. 24 would be a tie. Um, needs 25 points to actually. Uh, score above without losing anything. Now, Duchess and Suntier, they've been in a pretty good spot, good at uh, at arc dodging at this moment. How does he get 25 points is the question, so look at some options he has here. Uh, that's one and a half drones would get him there. Half of uh, Chertek would get him uh, 26 as well. Um, so we'll see how he goes about it. So what do you, what do you think uh, these aces are going to be doing? Well, three hard in from Sunter is, is, is a pretty safe one to say. He needs to get in there. Get uh, in the he's, fight. he's been very defensive, which is good. Uh, but after losing Grand Inquisitor, he's got to get a little aggressive. Now, where I think it's important is not probably not stress yourself right now. I, 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 um, yeah, with uh, Duchess. Uh huh. If if he if he goes ahead and does the whole barrel roll thing, that means he's not able to turn back around. So uh, again, Duchess. I don't know what she's if she's planning to bail out and letting Suter come in and take a few pot shots from the back. Mm hmm. You know the um, they don't have four forward, right? They're just three forward. The droids. The Duchess. Duchess, no, right there. Her, her dial's actually right there on our screen. Okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, one, two, and three straight. Yeah, so I don't think she can completely get out of that. She'll bump into something if she tries to just fully. All right. Hard turn. Hard turn, misses that rock. That one did have uh, struts, but doesn't need it at the moment. Making sure to turn and face the enemy as Duchess will be coming his way. Now it's going to be important for him to clear stress with the two brown ones right now. I think the Discord missiles might. <laughs> there. All right, two turn. They're going to have to mar mark a couple things to move the ships cleanly. Yeah, now one of the things that's interesting, if you saw, you know, Paul's last match uh -huh. was, um, you know, you mentioned it at the very end of it, how you got to know when to split the swarm. Yep. And, and when um, to stay together, yeah. When to stay together, when to split the swarm. And this match, he's actually... Kept it as a block. The, yeah. The entire, the only one that he, that he switched off was this one right here. But he did that more more than anything out of necessity. Yep. Um, 
but still kept it in in in, in, a, in a full block. Yeah, because I mean, when you're when you're going to shift it, you have to have a reason to, right? That was that was like you said for the block in order to trap the inquisitor. So, and I think part of the reason why he's doing that though is uh, that just how defensive Duncan has been. Yeah. Uh, you know, somebody else like Jesse was was aggressive at, from different angles, and he had to cover yes. multiple sides a lot more because he was attacking with all three ships at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Where um, right here, he's only leaving his blind side with one of the um, one of the ships. Well, he's only leaving a blind side open to one of Duncan's ships. Right. Yeah. All right, moving that Vulture Droid to the top of the screen. Yep, and that clears, so that gives them the... All right, so those Discord missiles are hot, but I think Duchess is not going to be anywhere close to those things yet, but... Um... All right, moving forward. Oh, he forgot he was stressed because he had that. Ah. So he did a... Struts are open. Covering soon tier. And I think at this point you just barrel roll this way. And... You got you to gotta, you gotta keep threatening. Oh, all, all those droids are on the left side. Oh, yeah, but his arc is that direction, so he has Right, so he has to go to the right. Or make sure his arc is pointing to the right. He goes to the left. Yeah. So on original release, how many points were grappling struts? Do you remember? Was it three? Yeah, they they were three and now they're one. Now they're one. No, they were four. They were, f they were pretty expensive. I know they were rarely used. Yeah, because it made them like twenty-two, twenty-three points. Three. Three. Yeah. All right. One bank to the left. Alien for Duchess. Three bank will get. Dutch is completely around the swarm. We'll be taking one shot there. Yeah. But it is uh, only modified by a buddy's calculate. And he'll have a range one shot there. So. That seems pretty strong. Three hard to the left, like you called uh, Marcel for soon tier. Just getting around that rock, and I think this uh, this little vulture droid is in for a bad time. I mean, this is what we talked about, right? You gotta pick your shots. He's got a lot of time, and if you can move this one from the table, I believe that one. That none of none of them have been touched. half points, like uh, none of the blue ones. So you know that if he gets it, he's gonna get the full twenty points. Yeah, so that'll be. Still be down, but at that point he only needs to only gets in half on another one. Half one more, yeah. Oh, Chertek will also have a shot um, on the right side because the arc is pointed to the right. The one on the rocker at the moment is completely undamaged. Gonna throw the target lock on. He does have the bullseye, so he'll get the focus. Fully modified shot coming into that vulture without any uh, calculates, so it's in danger for sure. All right, Marcel, don't change the score while I reconnect to the internet. I'll tell you when it'll be good. Okay, so he had the bullseye on. That droid. All right, full All right. health droid, spends the lock. 
Whiffs on that, two hits only. Uh, has one. Check for network calculations. So he takes one. And got it. Go ahead now and take out the one. It should be good now. Sure. On which one? Uh, no, he had crack shot. He forgot to use crack shot on that one. He could have. Fifth, fifth brother to a crit. One second. We'll, we'll look to see when, because he's going to take damage here. Okay. Checking to see if he can save his life. Yeah, this would be, again, he forgot the crack shot since he had the uh, bullseye for the... He sure did. And does he have crack? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does have... He has crack shot instead of predator. out of range one so that yep. ship was taken off the board that's number seven all right Duncan 55 Paul 59 all right they're measuring for range and he's got looks like a two All right, just marking all the things for accuracy. While we wait, we can have a dance party. You ready? Yeah. Dice. That was fun. Thank you. Let me know if you had a good time. And it is a range three. Yeah. It's oh, a sorry, range it's range two. two. And spends a focus for one, out of danger. And got it. <laughs> and another range check. Calling, he's calling me out. And Scruffy Nerf Herder asking, are they playing all the matches today or are there more tomorrow? This is it. Yep. This is the final. The final. Oh, the thing's not working. They're fine. Porqueria, come on. Final. I think range three is the call. Yeah. Yeah, this is looking uh one. Yeah, with that of eight token. Yeah. Got it. Anyone getting an invite via the qualifier event? I don't know. I mean there should be somebody. There, there should be uh two or three people that, that get it. Uh, it's only five rounds now. It's only now. five rounds now instead of six, yeah. Okay, so it's a bit of an uphill now for uh, Paul, even though he's ahead. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, he's still well, he, got he's 40 half, minutes half. left. Mm -hmm. And um, 
every every droid he loses, it's it's harder and harder because the the strength of the swarm list is that they can use each other as tools, right, in order to um, to control the board with their their space for blocking, yeah. as well as just uh, having lots of times on target. The thing is that both Duchess and Suti are fairly defensive ships, so when you get down to one or two droids only, it's it's not a big deal anymore. Yeah. yeah. At, at some point, um, yeah, maybe when you get down to like only two droids and Chertek, that's handshake time. You know, um, you're never going to catch any of these. So do you still press the action here with Sunter? Or um, do, do you just play it, play it a little bit safer and go one more one more way around and your drawing thing is not working? No. That should be good now. Yep. Do you disengage and go at it again this way or that way? Mm -hmm. Or do you keep pressing the, the action with Sunter? I th I think right now because he's facing out and stressed, so because right, the, the, the best put he can the do here. is right you hard two and barrel roll, but that's going to put your arc here. There. So I mean, soon tier does have that lane. The risk though is you're putting yourself next to that rock. So maybe a two forward. As long as you have enough, if, if Duncan thinks he has enough space to turn out to the left there, mm -hmm. but he's going to be cautious. Also, you have Duchess kind of starting to enter the same space. Yep. People asking, is that Marcel in the passenger seat? Yes, it is. The Marcel Manzano. The scrub that can't. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, you're uh, only, only, only making all these cuts. How dare you? Yeah. Scrub. All right. So it looks. Yeah, he's gonna have um. He's gonna spend a couple rounds. Just repositioning, not really, shooting. I, I don't think Duncan's gonna be in any. Any place to get really shot at right now. All right, turn it to the top of the board. So he did a three hard and kept the uh, kept the stress. Stress. Okay. Maybe he's just trying to get. It's the idea of like trying to. I guess he could have two turn barrel roll to the top. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And end up with the calculate. Mm -hmm. We'll see what the perp. Like what's the reason for that? Well, may maybe Chertek's move has something to do with that. Yeah. <laughs> the dead Baron 101. I know that's you, Darren. Darren, Darren uh, Granger's trolling you. Oh. In the chat, because that's him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Darren is a much better commentator. He should get him back. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> you know, Darren, if it didn't cost so much money to fly back and forth, I, you know, I'd have you on more often. Yeah, the the funny thing about this list, he's really only lost uh, two there's droids. The barrel roll. So he still has six ships out there. There's still quite a few. It's but, there's a lot of it, things on fire. But it feels like like he's burning. Right. Yeah, still anybody's game. Yeah. For sure. OK. 
Okay. So he'll get one shot at him. Duchess has gotten away with uh, murder. With, with <laughs> some, well, yeah, murder. With, with murder, but but with some. Um, oh, look at that! No oh, aggressive he took here. That lane. Hello there. Yeah, right here, I think he just takes an evade and takes advantage of the crack shot. Yeah, he only he has two shots coming in. He'll end up with a focus, focus evade. Well, he might have a third shot if he passes the tractor off here. True. Um, Does Duncan see it? Yeah, and that's where that two... He's he's thinking whether to move him in and why did he flip the focus token? Huh? Where? Oh, so he just he took it away because it's oh, it's not his time yet. Yeah. So he's barely rolling him away, trying to protect him because he's tractored. Yeah. From so he's just trying to keep his. No Ooh, Discord I, missile launch. I wonder launch. why not. Is this not a Discord missile one? Uh, I believe it is. Because these three are three gray ones. So The, the thought might have been not yet because it would have gone in the back and then he would just leave it behind. He would have taken yeah. the but he'd only take a shield. He has a shield upgrade. At this point, you got to take what? Uh, but I think, I think it's a calculated risk not to do it. Or I mean, maybe maybe Paul could have forgotten it. I mean, that is a possibility. But I think, I no, think he specifically stated. I heard like I will not. Yeah, I yeah, I will not discord missile. This time. Yeah. This time. And he also needs a calculate to fire it, which he doesn't have. Mm So at this point, where do you, I mean, I think you just go for the front one. Yeah. Take the, uh, take the crack shot. All right. Asking what are available options here. Four dice, you can hear them. Ooh. I'm just gonna leave it at one. And safe. Could have pushed through the damage with the crack shot. Yeah. But maybe saving that for Church Tech. You think so? I think that's why he was checking the bullseye before he shot. Oh, to see if he yeah. gets it in on Church Tech. Whiffs on the web of failure. Range two from number two. There crit, go. crit. Going into soon tier. Spends the focus, okay. safe. Safe, but he did he did what he want needed to do with them. He uh, made him spend some tokens, so he's gonna have he's got to get through six more dice here. Uh, I think. Got I ain't got one. <laughs> and he spends the other one. All right, so that's got just it. a shield. Yeah, you see, he that's got where the one, that, he got the one shield. Yep, and that's where that discord would have well, popped. Well, he, he didn't have a calculate, so he couldn't do it anyway. Oh, you're right. Yeah. He's stressed. Got it. He hasn't used crack shot yet, right? He has not used crack shot. 
And so I just can't tell from that token that he's using there. I'm just going to go take a peek real quick just to double check sure. so we have the right information. The own. Okay. Crack shot is still active. 100% for Shozo, man. My frizzles. All right. Anybody who's just tuning in, this is the final of the Philadelphia System Open. This round and all the rounds sponsored by Curl Paw Creatives. Use coupon code UNPLUGGED2019 to get 15% off an order of $15 or more. Lots of new stuff on the shop, including wing tools that are in acrylic, hyperspace tokens, which I know I threw out immediately when I <laughs> when we got the... Because the original alt art form, like alternative format in the core box was mm. very strange and, and awkward. So I just I recycled it because I was like, oh, I'm never going to play this. But now you need them again. So, because Ace, Ace is high is actually really fun. So, uh, if you need them, go ahead and uh, go to Curl Paw Creators. Use that coupon code. All right. Um, so, these are, this, this is the, these three are stressed, right? Or all four of them except, well, basically all of them except that guy. Oh, yeah. Except for Chertik and his buddy on the right side. Dutchess is there. So, yeah, I think soon, at this point. Soon point, on an exit trajectory right here. Yeah, he's got a five oh, straight. Five straight, get out, try That's again why later. He didn't, uh, you know, no reposition, no taking stress last turn. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Chertek can block his five straight. No. Well, maybe with a one hard barrel roll. No, I think maybe with a two barrel roll and bump himself. But then he... How is he going to take advantage of that is the problem. I guess you could turn these guys in. No, like if he bumps himself, then he can just stay in the same spot, go this way, and point the arc that way to cover it. Oh, I like that too. Yeah, but... Yeah, also, a, the uh, Expo Hall is closing in 15 minutes, everybody. They're going to turn off the lights on us. That's right. Bye. Get out. It's a good thing we have lights. It's fine. We survived Atlanta. Barely, but we did. All right. So here, if you're Paul, do you just get yourself back in formation and, and start covering your ang angles, or do you, um, do, I don't do you keep pressing the action? I mean, he is up, but with 25 points, he will lose something else. And that little guy is on an island down there. He, he is for sure. I kind of think you need to bring everybody down uh, it, j just in case Duchess turns, turns up. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, it looks like he's going to re. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's just. I, I'm not really sure. Now he just barrel rolled without target lock, without taking a calculate there. Okay, so he's just keeping, still keeping that one, that weapon's disabled, so he's still only shooting with one with uh, that one there. Mm 
All right, continuing down to the bottom of the board. Mm -hmm. Just covering Duchess. So Roka on the chat says, Duncan for the win. These droid lists can't win. False. They won the St. Louis System Open, not System Open, uh, Grand Championships. They did. And they won another event that same day. It was somewhere else uh, in, in another country. They won a, a grand. It was another grand or hyperspace? Uh, no, it no, was it was a grand. A grand. Yeah, okay. for sure. Yeah, these droids are pretty, pretty solid. I mean, one of my losses, uh, my, my, my Swiss loss was against a uh, Chertek Swarm. Um, they're, um, you know, it, it's really hard, especially these Discord missiles, are, uh, add a new layer of um, danger to, to, to them. They, um, I mean, they, they, they can just do so much. They deny an entire area, especially when you got three of them. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so they're, they're, they're definitely pretty, uh, pretty solid. Now, do you, do you think they're more viable in the hyperspace format? Versus extended? Versus extended. I mean, what an extended doesn't, what an extended trounces vultures. I don't, I, well, I, I think know it's about, about even. Trounces, but, I, but I would say something like, um, if, you know, if you, got, if you have these AC types, you've got the, um, you'd have like the shuttle that, you know, that, that can evade. Right. So you'd have usually like um, two aces plus a shuttle and Palpatine. No. Maybe. Yeah, you'll Maybe. give up some points, but that they usually clog up the board a little bit. They take a lot of shots. Uh -huh. it, it, takes, it takes, you know, four or five turns to kill them. Okay, I'll take that. Maybe. I still think... Phantoms. Phantoms give him true. a lot of trouble. Well, I, I, I go back to they won. They actually said it was three, three grand championships mm -hmm. that same weekend. Oh, wow. uh, St. Louis... Missouri, Italy, and Poland. Poland was a little bit of a different variation, wasn't it? It was uh, hyena bombers, but but the separatist, uh, the, the separatist, the idea of the separatist yeah. swarm, and Denmark. Yeah. Oh, it looks like he just decided to go ahead and take take the bump, take the bump. Uh, Looks like he might end up with Ark anyway. That's, yep. Now that is a, an undamaged one. All right, getting that perfect angle there. Okay. This is the final. I'm sorry, it was Brazil that won with the hyena bombers. Was it like six hyena bombers with prox mines or something like that? There you go. Since they're, uh... Okay. Oh, if he if he goes over the, there you go. He might actually end up. He might pick it up. I mean, he can barrel roll. He's not in in too much danger there. But um. all right, and uh, right there, a quick tip. One, our very first quick tip, which we didn't call quick tip, uh, that we posted on the YouTube channel was talking about using the wiggle room in the templates. Right there, mm -hmm. right. Duncan said, well, I want to wiggle it to the right. So he pushed the template all the way to the right, and it made it so it wasn't overlapping yeah, but, the, but, uh, but this is, uh, the Discord missile. This is the issue there, that the ship had already been picked up, and the template was already there. So to put the ship back on, you can wiggle it to the right, and then wiggle it more, so you get a double wiggle out of that. So that actually <laughs> should... I'm just saying that... that right, that could, have, that could have been it. We don't know if that's what happened. Yeah, We're but, just. But usually, like, if, if you pick up the, sh the original ship with the marker there, you, 
you should not be able to put it back on wiggle right. then because the the ship is already was not. it was it marked in the front yeah soon tier was marked in the front yeah something was marked in the f in the front oh okay you get what i mean yeah, like, yeah. You, like to put it back and then wiggle again because it might have been wiggle there to, in the beginning Maybe. to begin with All right, so let's see what he's got. So he could pass the tractor to try to get. Now, another option for that tractor was here forward to try to get a range three shot. All right, checking the arc here. Yeah, it looks like he might have him. It's close, though. Yep. Nope, it not, is out of arc. in arc. Yeah, so, uh, this so is no shot a, for Duchess. A two-hour match. I, and I we're told you. close to the end, and we've only lost three ships total. Just one. One. Comes in. It's a critical. Oh, no, that was a range one. From who? Uses the calculator for two. Spends the oh. force. No damage. Doesn't get anything out of that one. Duchess. No consequence. And no other shots there. Yeah. <coughs> 16 and a half minutes left. Fifty-five, fifty-nine. Fifty-five, fifty-nine. <laughs> Paul surprised by yeah, the judge. The judge asked me to give them the score just to save time. Okay. I don't know if that's going to help Paul to know that he's up. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Maybe Paul just needs to remember he needs to press the action. He needs to stay aggressive. Yeah. I'm just going through and double checking all of our scoring just before they set these dials. Yeah. So at this point, do you just turn back into Sunter? Dead. One hole. Full. Yeah, okay, we're good. Um, Again, Duchess has been evading everything. Yeah, I mean, by by chance, not by chance, but I mean like, we got to be careful not to put like a uh, like it's evading it because it's Duchess. No, it's just right. It's, it's got, just it's got, it's got, it's got hot dice. But outside of that, I'm saying, if I think Duchess is his best chance to stay in the lead, taking her out, just with the, with the positioning of his ships. Right now, if you can get half points on Duchess, yeah, but I'm thinking these that gives two you 30 points. can really put pressure on Sung. Oh, pressure! You should put the pressure on it. You don't want to just, you know, because, give up, um, give up your flank. Like I'm saying, take these three ships against Sunter and these three against Duchess, and just set that uh, let. Well, let's see what he does here. Okay, so Talon Earl with his uh, one attack die. Talon roll, weapons failure. Yeah, that is such a crazy <laughs> maneuverability. <laughs> Yeah. 
It's a one hard barrel roll, guys. <laughs> is yeah. Is what that is. Yeah, just the maneuverability and with those struts is. All right, so what is this one right here? Which one is that one? The crit on that one? Yeah. That is has that one has two, I believe. Yeah, that is keep that. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going on the look. list. That, that's not the weapon that's failure. That's whole breach stun pilot. Whole breach. Ooh, he is suffering. Oh, a hard one or something like that would be. A self bump there would be. Forward there. This cord missiles are still on that one as well. Not on that one. No? That's one of the blue ones. No, this one right here. Sorry. Yeah, I, that I, one I, is. Yeah, I yeah. thought in my head and didn't didn't say it out yeah, loud. So Sorry, the, guys. This one and these are the discords and they're still live. Is that a Now the arc Paul's, Paul's speeding up. You, see, you notice his pickup in, in pace? Yeah. He's feeling, he can taste the blood in the water. Ooh. Yeah. All righty. The question is, where is he going with Duchess? A hard one there with Duchess might be. Well, Paul's deciding whether or not to take the tractor because he's gonna ha right now. He's gonna have his, ar his arc. arc is pointed yeah. that way. He he must shift it if he wants to take that tractor, and of course, then he would only be able to give. Oh, that is all right. So he's pointing it to the right. No, it's already pointed to the right. I mean, to to the ship's right. Got the rotate. There it is. Yeah, I'm not sure I like that because again, that hard one from um, all right. I didn't quite hear what Duncan uh, three said. bank. He did a three bank, so he's gonna. He's going to go this way and th this way and then three bank to try to bump that droid. So right, right? Yeah. <laughs> but. Now, all of this um, time taking, who, who does it benefit all of this time with uh, the bumps and uh, I mean, we've got four points, it's, but uh, it's debatable whose advantage it is. I mean, Sumter can turn in and take a shot, and basically any turn he wants, she wants. This is this is close. All right, there's the bump on the ailerons. So making sure to be accurate, they, they took the time to be accurate earlier, yeah, yeah. so they've set the precedent that this no, is no, how I, they want to do it. And I don't think there's any clear I don't think advantage. there's an advantage to either one because, because you uh, could argue, like, all right, Duncan wants the pace to be slower so that, you know, he can, like, snipe something at the end and win, but at the but same time... But he also wants to put damage because he's losing. Uh, right, exactly. So... That's called fair and just. Yeah, so I'm not saying somebody's doing it on purpose. I'm right, asking right. you're just, you're just, just objectively, right. like, of course. who do you think it favors? I don't, I don't think, I think it is literally fair. I think it, it, it can be. That is a range one. That, he, that is not going to. 
That is droid number four from the bottom. Four, what? Let's say four on there? That's no. That's not a number. Eight. It's this one. So that is full. But he can take it. All right, eight. so you know he has a, he has two. He's gonna have two shots there. Boom, boom. Three, because you can't forget the one die. Oh, the one. Can, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't mean to disrespect. You know that one die is uh, has been on point so far. Barrel roll is the action. Okay, that is. Oh, get out of one arc. Now he's taking a total of four dice. Three and then one. Yeah, and he's going to have to do something to get himself out of that. Yeah. All right, so he's going to have four on two here, and that crack shot, it's still live. Duncan putting out that flipped over focus, making sure that they know which one it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the crack shot is live. Yeah, it is. Still on, uh, on soon tier. Soon to your range one, Predator. Crack shot. Crack shot. Whoa. Got that target. Whiffs on that one. Whoof. Whoa. Two. Only two. Has crack shot. Doesn't need it. So that's half. All right. Now he's up. One, two. All right, and only one. Safe. You, you, you took it down already? Yeah, oh, wait, I did the wrong one. It's this one. Sorry. Weapons failure, blank. Spend the force, take Six, one. Lives on one. Well, one to half. One away from half. Range one in the soon tier. He needed Spends that. Spends it, hit, hit, oh, crit. He that's, needs all paints. that's risky. He's been he's been getting them so far, but Spend evade. Yeah, spend the focus. That's so half points. No, it's not half points on center. It's only one. No, he had a shield upgrade. That is half points. Oh. Yeah. 92 points for Paul. 77 for Duncan. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy round. So uh, what does he need to do? He needs to, uh, that is 10, 15 point difference. So he basically needs to kill a drone that is undamaged or kill two droids. And it was a crit. It was damage sensor array, which for Suntir is a bad one. You can only perform focus token, uh, focus actions. So he's going to have to. And he's stressed. And he's stressed, yeah. You can see it. Uh, he's using a, uh, a crate evade. Yeah, and Dutch is. is um, Going to have to turn in and, and put some damage in. Yet, uh, Duchess herself is only one away from, from half. Now, one of the things that's helping Duncan out is that Chertek is basically now out of the remainder of the fight. He's really not going to be able to get back in. Yeah. Unless there's two rounds. But at this pace, I, I, I but doubt. Paul, Paul has almost all his dials down already. 
Yeah, but with three minutes left, uh, right, I'm just rolling the dice. Right, of course. Yeah. So what what is the win condition? The, the win condition. Is, so uh, which, there is one with he's two six, health. He's 16 behind. He yep. needs 16 points to win. He needs to either get two halves or one whole, or half on Chertek. Because he can go after that one, and Sumter can just turn in and um, take a focus. Now, what he can do, he can he can flip the crit, then barrel roll and boost. Oh, barrel roll or or boost, boost yeah, yeah, and then end up with a focus as long as he has with, something with in his bullseye, bullseye yeah. yeah. Yeah, guys, with two minutes left uh, with moving yeah. these ships, this is going to be the last round so for I'm sure. i he went that way because I, I have a feeling that, again, going, she's going to go after that. So, hmm, it's interesting. He needs to, so he has, Paul has two. If we go look at the score side, he's got two droids, three droids at one health. If Suntir and Duchess can just plink one damage through two of them, that, that could be it. Now, did he barrel roll? He just barrel rolled without calculating. That's interesting. Hmm. We've got a score correction here from the judge. Double checking. Yeah, so it turns out the drone that we thought was at one health is, is actually at, at two. two. Um, so we might have given him the wrong score. This next Earlier? Like Paul's been up, yeah, but he was up by even more than just the four points. Yeah, so this is the, this the, is, the final it's round. It's been, uh, been called. All right, so now, now with 25-point difference, that's um, near... Yeah, he needs to kill one that is not damaged and half another one, or kill a uh, damaged one. All right. Try to do some work to the drones. Paul trying to spread those arcs all around. One turn onto the cloud for Chertek. Yeah, I think he's just going to barrel roll. Barrel roll and have the arc pointed to the front after the tractor. Yeah, just to get the... Uh, yep. Oh, wait. Actually, that's a little... It's not an actual barrel roll. No, I know. No, I'm just surprised he didn't take himself back out here to just protect himself from the Sunter hard. No, oh, yeah, you're right. Just, Could be just, a risk. Yeah. So Paul doesn't have any green tokens this turn, huh? Except for this this one up here? Yeah. Taking the evade for Duchess. Got to hold on to that half point. Yep. And he can only take a focus, and that's uh, Bullseye. Yeah, that might be Bullseye.
He still has crack shot up. That's one thing we do have to remember. Getting getting half points on Chertek wins dunk in the game, doesn't it? Is it enough? It's 30 points, right? 26. Yeah. He is 26 gets him the win. So a half. Yeah, but yeah. Right here. This win. is this is the game right there no, for Duncan. A 26 gives him a tie. No, to lead. Oh, to lead? Oh, yeah. gotcha. Wait, what? He, he took no action? Okay. Now he he's going through the math right now. Now what is this token here? Uh, I don't know. It's a Pikachu. That's all I know. So he needs 25, so he basically needs to kill. Oh, he didn't do any other actions because of damage sensor array. Damage sensor array says. He can only focus. Yeah, but I don't see his focus there. I guess you get a focus, focus, right? Hmm? So we're doing the math right now on uh, what yep. he needs to kill. Is Duncan doing his calculations? <laughs> They're taking their notes. Just waiting, guys. So, we're listening. Okay. We're listening in. So we're listening in. But it sounds now that he's if he's got the bullseye here, he's got to go for him, right? Because he's on token. No token and a tractor. All right. We're just. Okay. All right. Here's. In snare. So this this is it. This is this is actually this turn matters, guys. Yeah. So he's gonna pass it off there. Take it to the top. Yep. And Maybe pu push it into push range one. Forward. Yep. Get it. Get that action. He doesn't die. have a calculate at the moment, but well, he any, he, any does. Shot. he can. He has that one. Now he can share that one. True. So that gets him to range one to share that. Not a fan when people say a decision is a no-brainer. Really, I get I get kind of annoyed. Like it's a no-brainer. No, you are, you understand that you have all the information on the screen, no pressure at all. Come on. So he's gonna go after the droid. <laughs> he's like, don't touch a ball. So he essentially needs to kill this one. Is this one half already? Yeah, it is, right? Because that's one of these brown ones? Yeah. So that one will die unless really bad dice. Too unobstructed because it just ekes the cloud with that corner. And a crack shot. I think you got to go after Chertek here.
full needs two. <laughs> Don't get that full of jelly. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, you got it. He just needs to get half on him. He just needs to get half. I just don't know if he, you know, we don't know if he's realized it, right? Well, he knows they were doing all the math right I now. I mean, you're assuming he did the math, right? See where he's going, right? But he's got the most agility. Oh, he's going to the droid. Right, he's going right here. Oops, Die. sorry guys. <laughs> That's three. Popped him. So that's one. That's a blue. That's a blue guy. Dutch is trying to lock it out here. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I think he, he looks good for him right there. He's got Predator and the Force. Oh. Just one. He Eyeballs wants. staring back at him. He needs one paint. He's got it. Calculate, he's fine. And that's that, that's that's the game. Yeah, I mean they they, they can roll the dice, but yeah, th that's game. So Paul takes it. What? Sorry what? about that. That's just on our side. There we go. And that was the that's the final right there. There's the handshake. Super close, eighty seven to ninety two. Congratulations, Paul Heaver, pulling it out here right at the end. That was a. Uh, and you know, Dun Duncan right at the end know, was. Those dice, uh, that those four. Go ahead. Yeah, I was saying those four uh, uh, eyeball results. That that's the, that's one of those where you're you're thinking like evade, right? Focus, evade, focus, and. Um, well, I mean, he's gonna be thinking about that one for for a while, but it, it's, it's, it's it's with four and a reroll, you typically expect um, more than one result, or for more, sure, or at least one result, because he got right zero he results. ended up with the four eyeballs. Yeah. So it's one of those things where here's that he's gonna remember that one, but you only ever remember the bad ones. Let's yeah. be honest, right? That's that's how it happened. It is. Yeah, yeah. But Duchess did. Get a lot of natural evades. Yeah, to yeah. Be able to so, get there so you you could argue that at this point, you know, on average, Duchess is half points. You know, it it happens. But you know, absolutely fantastic game. I think yeah. you could actually learn a lot from this game if you guys go back and analyze it. Just the decision making from both players, really, really solid, and gave them. They both had a chance to win at the end after two hours of play. Like that is. That's amazing. I think that's really, really fantastic. Congratulations to Paul. Um, thank you guys for joining us. Thank you to uh, Curl Paw Creators for the stream, uh, for sponsoring all the matches. And we're going to go ahead and do our giveaways, brought to you by District Foundry. Yeah, we're going to give that. That's the last thing. Hey, no, no, no. Sorry, guys. I saved it for you. You guys, are, one of you guys are going to be walking away with this. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to go ahead and give away Four more, uh, four more mystery packs. All right, four more of those. Let's go ahead, bring up the uh, giveaway machine, and we're gonna go ahead and refresh it to make sure that it's working. Knock on some wood, but uh, actually, this is not a wood table, is it? That's a composite table. We're wrecked. We're gonna die. We're gonna knock on some wood. <laughs> it's a PG show. It's, oh, didn't think about that. All right, do this one. Okay. And that one. And there we go. First person is Bat Nelson. Bat Nelson, congratulations. You're going to go ahead and win one of those GSP prize packs. Who's the second person? Row Squadron Ace. There you Gunboats. go. Gumboats in the chat. I love it. I love it. Who's the third person? All right. Per Cursed Kiwi. Cursed Kiwi. Fantastic. Number four. 
And we've got Raviolo Doctor. The Raviolo DR or Doctor. Dominican Republic, maybe? Dominican, possibly. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we got two more prizes. I, I don't, because our sub counter broke, I think honestly because of the, the, the yeah. constant disconnections, I don't know if we reached that 200 number. Um, but I feel that, you know, the people took their time to watch. I want to give away one more shirt, just one more. Okay, so you get your choice off of GoldSquadronPodcast.com. We got shirts. We got this one, uh, the Von Reg shirt. Uh, there's actually quite a few. I'll take a second and show you what are some of the things you might be able to win. Let's go ahead and pull it up. Let me use the fanciness of technology. GoldSquadronPodcast.com. Make it big. Boom. Where is my button give me a second guys display ah oh wrong one that's just a giant PD on there we go all right so you got your choice from any of these on our shop right now you could even choose the hat if you want to um, this is the way with triple evades, triple crits, or triple blanks, whatever floats your boat. You got Quick Draw, Von Reg, Grievous, Vader, or any of the factions uh, that float your boat. Yeah, I really like those. Um, this is the way. <laughs> uh, that, that, that one, you got to give credit to uh, William Haywood. That yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that, that was that was that was all Will. He's like, Dion, idea. I got this idea. I'm like, oh my god, that's awesome. All righty, here we go. Let's go ahead and give uh, give that shirt away. Who's gonna get it? All right. Uh, is Jason? I S Jason or L? Could be an L, right? L S Jason. L S Jason or I S Jason. Remember, if you're the winner, exclamation point win in the chat. And last but not least, we have our district foundry um, tournament tray. The first ever one of these given away with our new logo on it. Again, I think this thing's absolutely amazing. I'll bring it up close so you guys can see a little better. Come on, autofocus, do your job. It's because Marcel's face is in the way. <laughs> gotta do, gotta do one of these. The YouTube. Yeah, there we go. It's out of focus. Stop messing with the autofocus. <laughs> All right, one person gets it, Marcel. All right, here we go. God, stop. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Who's the winner? Who's it? Who's it? Marcel Manzano. No, liars. Tundra Walker 21. Congratulations, Congratulations to Tundra Walker 21. We will ship this to you no matter where you are. As long as you're in a shippable area, you're going to get this. Remember, type exclamation point win. I want to remind you that all stream prizes do take some time to get shipped out. Uh, we do have some people that come to my house and, uh, and ship, but we're in the holiday season right now. Things are going to be delayed just a little bit. <clears throat> and the next thing on the docket is I've sh shipped out most of the large items for Worlds. I got the small items for Worlds, and then it would be uh, this one. So uh, thank you guys so much for your patience, and thank you to everybody for watching the stream. If you want to support Gold Squadron Podcast and our travels around the United States and the world, bringing you guys live X-Wing content, you can type exclamation point support in the chat and uh, a document there that shows just the different ways you can do it. For free, you can use your Amazon Prime to connect to Twitch and use your Prime subscription every 30 days. Very easy and free way if you already have an Amazon Prime account to donate money to the Gold Squadron Podcast. Patreon, swag, uh, you can order merch, whatever, whatever feels good in your heart. Thank you guys so much. Marcel, thanks for joining me these last few rounds. Thanks for watching, everybody. Gold Squadron out. Hey, the internet held up right yeah. to the end. That's pretty awesome. I lost just for you, Dion. <laughs>